How to perform a leak check using the Rego app. First, find your customer in the database. For this demo, we will select NC Tech. Once you have confirmed that this is the customer account, you will tap on Propane Tanks. This tutorial assumes that you have not entered your assets into the database already. We will enter one asset just in case you haven't seen that process yet. Let's set up a propane tank by clicking Register New Asset. Now we're going to manually enter this tank. We're going to set up a 500 gallon above ground propane tank, so just enter the tank data on this screen. Be sure to include a good description of the tank's location so that the next person can find it as well. Once our data has been entered, we will take a picture of the tank. Now we've entered all of our data, so we will click Register. You can see our propane tank in the list of assets now. To begin the leak check on this tank, we will click Perform Service, then click the Leak Check icon. Click Continue, and then select the type of test that you're going to perform. In this case, we will choose Tank Pressure. Next, indicate how full the tank is. We will enter 35% here. Remember, the percent symbol is implied and does not need to be in the blank. Before moving on to the leak check itself, use the app to guide you through physically inspecting the tank. Carefully answer each question that you see on this screen. Once you have done this, you should close the valve and then connect your PrestoLink transducer to the PrestoTap port on the tank. Go back to the tablet and click Continue. Then from the list, choose the PrestoLink device that you placed on the tank. In our case, the number on the transducer is 67177. You will see a graphic representing the current pressure. And since you turned the valve off before connecting it, it should be at zero pounds of pressure. Next, open up the valve all the way. You should see your pressure jump and that way you'll know you have the correct device chosen. Once the pressure has been stabilized, you need to click the Record System Pressure button. Once this has been done, close the valve and slowly open the pressure relief on the PrestoLink device until you see the meter on the tablet reduce by about 10 pounds of pressure. Then close the pressure relief all the way. One note here before we begin our test, while the default time is 3 minutes, this can be set for a longer time by clicking the Edit button next to the timer. Click the Start Leak Check button and the timer will start. Since we did not change the default, this will take 3 minutes and you will see the time begin to count down. When the timer completes its countdown, you will see the View Results button appear. Click it and you will see the results of your test. Usually, if the pressure rises during the test, you probably have a leaking main valve on the tank. If the pressure continues to drop, you probably have a leak somewhere between the tank and the appliance. If the test fails, you may want to test again. In the event of a failure, the Review Results screen will indicate a failed test. If this happens, close the valve on the container and follow your company's standard operating procedure for a failed test. Continue to follow the workflow process on the tablet to capture the customer signature and then create a record of the work performed. With a passing result and with the valve still off, remove the pressure transducer from the PrestoTap port and replace the cap. Then open your valve to return it to service. Going back to the tablet, place service notes in the Notes field. It might be a good idea to also take a picture of the installation. Click on the Accept Check button. On this screen, the Rego app will ask you a series of technician acknowledgement questions. Did you provide any materials to the customer? Are the appliances suitable for continued service? The gas piping condition and if you red tagged it for some reason? If there are recommended actions, enter them here. Once all questions have been answered, click the Acknowledge button to see the review screen. This is what you will use when talking to your customer about the leak check. When you click the Continue button, have your customer sign their acknowledgement that the test was performed and that they have been made aware of the findings and any actions you took to resolve it. A permanent record of the visit will be made in the customer service history.